right behind you. <laughs> we finally hit the jackpot. I say over 40 phrases in my original voice. Misa called Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. do need a new alarm clock. Hello everybody and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're in Pasadena, California at the Rose Bowl because yeah. it's the first weekend where the Rose Bowl flea market has reopened. It's one of the largest swap meets in the world. It's the biggest in California and it's been around for 50 years. Yeah, and can you believe it? It's our first time here. We're super excited to check it out and see what it's got to offer. Yeah, what kind of pop culture things can we find? What kind of Disneyland things can we find? What kind of Star Wars things can we find? Come with us on this adventure. <laughs> So we just got here at the Rose Bowl and at the ticket counter I realized that they're only accepting exact currency for tickets. No change will be given and they're not taking credit cards. And basically it's $10 a person and I only got 15 bucks. So I don't know, we're gonna have to see if we can call in a friend. <laughs> Looks like our friends who are also here might be able to save us. So that's good. And of course, I just realized they have a bunch of ATMs to solve this problem and we didn't need friends. Who needs friends? We didn't need friends, basically, I'm saying. Ticket acquired. Just want you to know before coming here that the sale of merchandise bearing counterfeit Louis Vuitton trademarks is prohibited and punished by state and federal law and anyone engaging in the sale of such items will be prosecuted to the fullest extent. So don't even try it. Yeah, it's on the website that they have random checks. Yeah, so don't if you're thinking They're about like it, serious. think again. Before we go explore this massive, massive flea market, we gotta eat. So we're gonna check out some of the food here in the little food court. We got some Mexican food here. Sounds good. So at the taqueria, I got the breakfast burrito. If you didn't know, I am a connoisseur of breakfast burritos. That's actually true. I love breakfast burritos. <laughs> That's actually true. But I don't agree that breakfast burritos should have beans. What well, breakfast burritos have beans? And also, breakfast burritos, like they were having like chicken breakfast burritos? No. Bacon or sausage. That's the way to go. In LA, it's very hard to find a good breakfast burrito. People like a three out of five. But at this place, they had a bunch of agua frescas and they all looked amazing. I got the pineapple lemon. Oh my god. It's like sugar in a cup. Sweet and tart at the same time. This is really good. Five out of five Peters. Awesome. I actually really like this. And I got myself two tacos. I got carne asada and chicken because I wanted to try them both. There's actually a bunch of different food vendors in here. There's pizza, there's barbecue. There's something for everyone. But you can't go wrong with tacos for breakfast, right? <laughs> These are nothing amazing. They're kind of overpriced. But we're both very, very hungry, so I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast. So what you're saying is people don't come to the Rose Bowl for the food. Yeah, maybe eat before. This is our first time here. We don't really know where we're going. I can tell you, compared to the Melrose Trading Post, where we usually go, this is like 10 times bigger. I know, it's it looks... so overwhelmingly big. Yeah. Let's just keep walking and see what we see. Get true, look at yeah. this. Planet Hollywood, San Diego, leather jacket. How cool would you be? with this vintage, is there anything in the front? Oh yeah. Do you think this is the, the actual jacket that Arnold Schwarzenegger wore? No. No? I mean, it could be though. <laughs> Look at these little guys right here. Well, there's a lot of good stuff at this booth. I noticed this, this little statue, I guess. It's me, that's future me. <laughs> what is even that statue for? I don't know. Oh, look at this, in television. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that keyboard. Yeah. I never tried in television. What was in television? I think it was like a video game system. Oh, we should get it, see if it works. This is one I actually played. In a game I actually played. I always wanted a Mickey watch, but this one I think is a little bit too big for my hand. Wow. Remember when people would ask me, you know, what time is it? I'd say it's half past Mickey's buck. <laughs> You know what you could do with this though? What? You could be like Flavor Flav and like wear it around your neck <laughs> when you go into the park, you know what I'm saying? I see some Hallmark ornaments back here. Oh, they look like fairly new stuff. Oh yeah, you're right. Dang. Yeah, nothing special. Dang. Maybe we can find some 
<laughs> you know us and order mints. Yeah, good eye. Well, maybe we could find some more yeah. throughout today. We'll be on the lookout. Wait, what, is, what is this one right here? Okay, oh, okay. Speaking of Christmas decorations, what, 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 why is it? I don't know if I love or hate that, honestly. I do not like it. It's creepy. So, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're probably right. <laughs> butt check. <laughs> Even at the flea market, I could find a butt check. That's a good one. What are those? Looks like they're vintage Mouseketeer dolls. It says Boy Mouse, Mickey Mouse Boy Doll. Oh, exclusively at McDonald's. So maybe they're old Happy Meal toys? Wow. So, are you doing a butt check on? No, I just wanted to show you that there's tails coming out. Yeah. They have an M&M shower radio. Oh. It's waterproof. He's wearing like a scuba mask. It only requires three AA batteries, <laughs> but they're not included. Now hold your toothbrush. Wow. What? And it's 30 bucks. What a bargain. I feel like that's a really good deal. Ice cubes down in here. Oh. And then you'll notice there's the steel grate. Wow. Of course, of course, nowadays. Yeah, would that be. would never fly. And then as you push this down here, you crank, crank it, it up. up. It oh shaves my God. the ice and then it. That is so such a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> wow. I had this as a kid. People either had this one or the Snoopy one. Yeah, the Snoopy one was cool. It had <laughs> more character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm but sorry like, you didn't have the Snoopy one. Yeah. Not as good as the Shave Ice and Quiet. Why is this the best flea market ever? Like literally we just got here and we've already seen so many cool things. Yeah, we've only gone through like one aisle. Yeah, and we're, we're showing you stuff that like we find interesting, but there's like stuff here for everybody. There's like more traditional antiques here too. There's like literally everything and it's I'm yeah. having so much fun already. If, if you are a fan of plastic bins, 50 cents each. <laughs> Do we need this? Um. Oh my God, look at this. Not only do they have VHS tapes, but they also have eight track. Whoa, I've actually never seen one of those in real life. What do you want? Frank Sinatra. That seems like a good one to get. Or Judy Garland. Oh. <laughs> it looks like an Atari cartridge to me. That's, That's probably the same technology. Or no, it isn't because it's a tape. Hmm. Yeah, we're not that old. And we are old. We remember these Yeah, things. we're about this old. We're not quite this old. I'm not sure if I love these or if they're like super creepy. Like, is there an alien species growing out, out of their brains? Once again, this is something that reminds me of the movie Annihilation. Oh yeah, it totally does. Too creepy for me. $45. Plants not included. So this is the kind of stuff I like, like the really old metal, steel, industrial furniture. I don't know what I would do with it, but I like it. This guy has a collection of playing cards from airlines. Such a weird, specific playing card collection. I was just informed that these dolls right here are only a dollar each. Which one's your favorite? I like this one. No, no. And my favorite, I think, is this one right here. This one? Yeah, because the eyes, it like freaks me out. <laughs> Speaking of creepy dolls, look at this. Mickey Mouse. What is going on with his nose? Oh my god. These bring back memories. What is it? <laughs> Desert Storm playing cards. When that war no, was going on, they came out with, or not playing cards, trading cards. And this is probably a full set. Like, why did they make trading cards for a war? That seems very morbid to me. I know, but it was a thing. Did you collect those when you were a kid? I think I had some packs of them. <laughs> of course you did. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know, what's in here? I think this is a reprint of the original mini doll. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Look at her look at her eyelashes. <laughs> oh, they're huge. Mini. Looks like a fork. I guess sometime in the 30s, Minnie must have stopped wearing fake eyelashes. Maybe. I also like the look of these vintage industrial fans. How did they ever release these? I mean, kids or people could just stick their I wonder if it still works. <laughs> As a plug and everything. I'm betting it does. Ugh. Scary. I'd be afraid to have it around, honestly. I feel like this booth is copying you with the droid shelf. <laughs> Look at all these droids here. Yeah, they do have a lot of robots. Yeah, any that catch your eye? Nah. No, not the droids you're looking for? We found a Hallmark ornament of Slave One from Star Wars Attack of the Clones. So it's the previous version, like previous colorway. Yeah, it's blue. 
So look, we got some old school cameras, some Super 8 <laughs> movie cameras, some projectors, but this one's the coolest. Yeah. It's a Super 8 movie editor. Would you have to like cut the film as you went? I think so. So the reel goes right here, I think. Yeah, reel to reel. It's like... Maybe I should start using that to edit our videos. <laughs> yeah, it would, it would take you like... It would take me even longer than it already does. <laughs> take you a month per video. <laughs> Could be worth it though. Is that Pee Wee Herman's bike? I don't think so. But <laughs> like this thing. Did, you, did they used to serve Coca-Cola? in a barrel this place is like a maze that just keeps on going and going and going they have 2500 different vendors and before the pandemic there would be i think 20,000 people here on the weekend that's open the sunday wow. that's open yeah so very very a lot of people and a lot of famous people too pixel what are you doing here and why are you smoking a cigar <laughs> What are you reading? That looks like her when we give her a bone. Yeah. Oh my god, it does. <laughs> I'm gonna put a photo side by side comparison. That's hilarious, actually. We were just talking about eight tracks, and this is a very cool eight track player. An eight track stereo space ball. I had no idea that they looked like this. Well, usually they don't. I think this is just a very mod style. Probably from the late 60s, early 70s, I'm guessing. What is that? No idea. Oh, look at all these vintage porcelain Disney figures. My grandma used to collect these. I actually have some somewhere in our house. You need to add to them. I know. I need to see what I have first. Yeah, we don't know which ones we got. I feel like oh, you I know. need to buy them all and then add to them. I know. They're so cool. I already have a copy of this. Is that the Haunted Mansion? Yeah, it's magic from the Haunted Mansion. It's a magic book. Money magic. Money Ooh, magic. I didn't know that the ghost in the Haunted Mansion did money magic. <laughs> how random. Yeah, how cool is that? Very cool. <laughs> Coin vintage. I'm gonna learn all these magic tricks. The coffin escape. This book is for sure haunted. <laughs> I like Ooh, the, the hot box ghost. Yeah, I'm a sucker for a nice succulent display. But I feel like even I. Even I can kill one of these guys. <laughs> these are supposed to be like the, the the hardest to kill plants, and we even can't keep them alive. So I don't know. I like how they look though. Peter, don't make me remind you though. Do not touch. I know how badly you want to touch, but do not touch. So the question is, if you buy one of these huge cactuses, like do you have to carry it all the way back to your car? I'm guessing you do. Probably. I mean, what's the chances of me carrying this? All the way back to the car without getting poked. Pretty slim. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these displays. I know. They're beautiful. Yeah, I, I really love succulents. I know we're we're a sucker for succulents like that. I would say. Yes. This dog might, must be part of hearing because he has his ear right up, right up to the speaker. Wow! Look at this retro Disneyland map. And I love how on the bottom it calls it Walt well, Disney's. Magic Kingdom. It's the guide to the Magic Kingdom. And there's also a ticket booth down, a uh, ticket book down there. The corners of this map have like little sketches of all the Disney characters. And the other thing I noticed is the Haunted Mansion. It actually shows the show building there. I don't think usually maps show the like the hidden show buildings these days. I found a few more that aren't framed. Look at this. This is amazing. This is beautiful. Man. How much is it, do you think? Oh, $350. Wow. Dang. Yeah, my Look at this. <laughs> what is he doing? Is he a DJ? Yeah, it's because now available on cassette compact disc. Oh, that is so cool. A lot of vintage 70s and 80s toys here. I think my favorite, though, is that baby Shrek. See it? <laughs> Wait, why do I want that? Move over, baby Yoda. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this. They got the trash compactor toy from Star Wars. Oh, wow. And some Lord of the Rings figures. Dang, I got everything here. All right, Peter, what is that? 
Oh my god, it's for a shower? Yeah, so you could have oh. the, the water squirt out at you from Darth Vader's helmet. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. I think that might be cooler than that M&M one we saw earlier. <laughs> I feel like you always see vintage Barbies, but when have you ever seen a vintage Ken? Does he have sideburns? Wait a second. Is there like a special thing that you put on to give him like a handlebar mustache? Yeah, it looks like it's it's right underneath there, I think. <laughs> oh, look at all the different... Oh my god, I just found something even better. What? The Paradise Pier Posable Figure Collection. Whoa! Paradise Pier doesn't even exist anymore. That is a collectible. Oh my god. I just hit the jackpot. I found a bag of pods... Pogs? Wow, I forgot what they were called. Who knew that Del Taco made Pogs? Wow. Oh, oh wow, they even have... They have some vintage credit cards down here in a bin. Look, look at that MasterCard. <laughs> That's cool. What? Who sells their, their old vintage credit cards? We found an entire booth that's selling nothing but clown stuff. <laughs> you guys vinyls, remember? Yeah, there's so many creepy clowns here. Kitra's like obsessed with the creepy clowns. I'm not obsessed with them. I've just never honestly seen so much clown stuff before and I just wanted to show everybody. I used to have a creepy clown, like a velvet painting of a creepy clown on my wall as a kid. My sister got it for me. It creeped me out. And you kept it up on your wall? I, mean, just, I had to. They would my, just stare at you? My sister gave it to me. Do you still have it somewhere? I mean, my dad probably does. Oh no. Well, we could try to find you something no, similar. I, I don't, no, we don't oh. need one. We don't need a replacement. Well, they got a big selection here is all I'm saying. All joking aside, I found a real pixel. Look at it! Oh, that's cute. I wonder if that's actually an antique or... It does? I don't know. Pixel? I feel like at some point your eyes begin to hurt because your eyes are just like... You're just like working out with your eyes, like just like looking like, is there anything I like? Do I see anything? Oh my god, that over there. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I know what you mean. Getting that eye workout in today. Can you, can I just point out that it's $150? <laughs> I was like contemplating like, oh, I should get that. I'll be funny, but too much. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. It's worth more than the dollar, the hundred dollar bill on the t-shirt. Do you want some vintage trolls? I'm not talking about trolls world tour. But the trolls where... The OG trolls? OG. Why does it have a gem in its like belly button? They all had gems in their belly mm. buttons. I don't remember that part. I remember the hair, but I don't remember. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Peter, are you a fake trolls fan? Like, apparently. <laughs> Upon further examination, they don't all have those gems. I could have... Okay, here's another one with the gem. I was worried for a second that I was, like, making that up. They must be the lucky trolls. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why do I want one? <laughs> I like how there's, like, legit antiques here, and we're just showing you, like, trolls and, like... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's just funny. Like, there's real, actually, vintage stuff. <laughs> you want a huge Hollywood sign? Wow, I wonder what that's from. I mean, obviously from like some kind of store, right? Maybe like Hollywood video or something. I don't know. I found something for you. Okay. Right behind you. <laughs> we finally hit the jackpot. It's a wake up system? Your time telling friend. What does he do? Try me, squeeze my left palm to hear me talk and giggle. I'm guessing it probably I'll is. tell you the time. I say over 40 phrases in my original voice. So is it like an alarm clock and it wakes you up? Oh, and it has a pit droid timepiece yeah. that it comes with. Wow. So it says the time on it. He'll say, hi do or wait, I can't, I can't, I can't wait, you gotta you got do this. Give me your best Jar Jar. Hi do, Misa called Jar Jar Binks. Who's are you sir? Misa, so tired. Oh my god. Look what's on the back of this thing. Peter? Yeah, the gift that you gave me. That doesn't work. The, it's advertising the dancing Jar Jar. Uh, this is actually... <laughs> I mean, I yeah. do need a new alarm clock. That is pretty awesome. Uh, I was wondering when we were going to see some, some real... Star Wars yeah, stuff. some real gems here. And, uh, well, we I'm, found it. I'm afraid to ask how much it is. I love the pit droid. The pit droid... <laughs> Makes clock. it? Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> I don't need it. So since this is the first time in over a year that this flea market has opened up to the public, there's a massive line of people outside. It's at capacity. And I just overheard that it's over an hour wait just to get inside. Yeah. So we're very lucky that we made it in. Yeah, we, we just walked right in. Yeah, so. when we got here, we, you know, it took a long time to find parking, but once we found parking, we got in. So, dang, people want their flea market. <laughs> People just want to be out of the house. I think so. But this is a really freaking awesome flea market, man. Yeah. I get the hype. Look at these cool custom dioramas. So this one is from Return yeah, of the so Jedi. Much. Amazing. It's Jabba's Palace. And this one right here is the Mandalorian. Wow. These are cool. Yeah. Look at that cool guy over there. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of cool dudes. Yeah, they're too cool for school. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Look at how his, his little shirt is tied in the front like that. Yeah, what, what is up with the colors? Too? I've never seen a cooler Mickey in my life. So we made it through the antique section and now we're making the circle around the Rose Bowl where they have all new stuff, it's called. Seems like the same stuff to me. It does. But yeah, they call it the new, the new market. I found something that needs immediate attention. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are these? What are these? <laughs> What are these? This is just like a bin of McDonald's toys. Wow. Old McDonald's toys. Do you have any of these? <gasps> oh my god, they have the nuggets. Grimace. They have the nugget buddies. Oh yeah, I remember those. Oh man. You even have the beanie babies, Peter. Oh, I forgot about those. Oh my god, me and my mom used to go to McDonald's like every day just to get the beanie babies. Look, I finally found my pie burger. <laughs> <laughs> you did, it was at the Rose Bowl the whole time. <laughs> They're not open though, sorry. Well, I found something that Pixel and Gizmo are probably gonna want. Because if it makes them happy like that. Is it gonna make them look like that? Dogs aren't allowed at this event, which is why we didn't bring Pixel and Gizmo. But I'll say this, we've seen more service dogs today than I've ever seen before. I'm not saying that they're not real service dogs, but, but, uh, oh, I have something in my eye. Oh, are you trying, that's my move. What are you trying to, what's wrong with, what, do we need to, everything okay? Uh, I'm fine. Okay, good. <laughs> These are so cute. Look at all these little things. I, I think I, we found the jackpot here. There's everything you could ever want. We have a Buddha Vader. But I, I got to point you in this direction. Baby Yoda. Why does he have a thing growing out of his head? <laughs> Why is anything anything? Actually, I like the Mario one where the where it's growing out of the, the pipe. They're real, right? Probably. Wow. Only $20. Now that I look at it, I think that's just a Funko Pop. Yeah, but They hold right? it up the head. But they like repainted it, right? I don't know. Wow. Okay, I was wrong. A lot of the stuff in this section is kind of like, you know, newly created goods. It's not antique or vintage. Although there is some of that. Oh, this is nice. Go ahead. I, I, I'm totally gonna buy two. <laughs> I'll buy two. kitchen has been looking for a new pillow. I've been on the hunt for a <laughs> pillow and these are freaking amazing. They're bamboo yeah. pillows. They have bamboo t-shirts, socks, towels right now too. They're so soft, they like mold to your head and they're they're cooling. And I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy some. <laughs> I like, thought we were gonna make some kind of stupid purchase, like some kind of like action figure, but nope. No, you, you got. He gave me a, a, a quote unquote really good deal on these. And if I bought two of them, which I wanted, you know, it was even cheaper, yeah. so. By the way, be remember before when we were looking at that snow cone maker? Uh-huh. I told you about the Snoopy one that uh -huh. like everybody used to have? Well, it's right over here. Oh. Okay, yeah, that one's way cooler. Not only did you push the, the ice in here, but actually you kept the syrup in here and then like you oh put, put that on the shave ice. Yeah, this was before my time. Yeah. If you want to get it, I mean, I got some pillows. You could treat yourself and get yourself a, a snow cone machine if nah. you want. It's never that great, honestly. I support whatever you want. I am exhausted. There's so much to see here and I don't think we even saw it all. We didn't. I want to say we missed probably half of it. There was like whole rows and sections that we didn't even attempt to go down. Yeah, no, this is like the biggest swap meet that I've been to in California. I mean, it is the biggest swap meet in California. The one we usually go to, Melrose Trading Post, we did a video on 
We'll put the video right over there. If you haven't seen it, we found some cool stuff there. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons that includes. Jeffrey Greenslade, Eric Larson, Aaron Snyder, and John Corral. Thank you all so much. Thanks for watching. We'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.